Hello, I'm Colin Hanreddy from Hostelworld.com and if you want to know what's the oldest neighbourhood in Australia's most famous city and what are its best beaches, go nowhere because here are 10 things you need to know about Sydney. Famous for its golden beaches, stunning harbours and world famous landmarks, Sydney is one of the most breathtaking cities on the planet. Whether it's sunbathing, sightseeing or simply doing nothing that you're into, this city has something for everybody. As well as all this, there are neighbourhoods to explore, walks to embark on, streets to go shopping on and much more. Now, here is the first of those 10 things. Getting around Sydney is easy. The city's bus network is the most comprehensive, covering more destinations than any other type of public transport. But the fastest way to get around is by train, which is both under and overground. But by far the nicest way to get around Sydney is on ferry, and you can grab one here at Circular Quay. Ferries cover destinations such as Rose Bay, Darling Harbour and Manly, as well as providing a way to get from A to B, when you travel on them you get a great view of some of the city's most famous landmarks. Thanks to its coastal location, Sydney is home to miles and miles of golden beaches. Over in North Sydney is Manly, the most visited beach north of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Then over in the eastern suburbs you'll find Bronte and Tamarama, which are good places to go when you want to steer clear of the crowds, while Coogee is another popular beach. And by far the best known of all of these beaches is the world famous Bondi Beach. Every day thousands descend upon Australia's most famous stretch of golden sand to swim, lie in the sun, keep fit and surf. Located down at Circular Quay, the Rocks is Sydney's oldest neighbourhood and this is where the city began. The site of the first European settlement, it's full of quaint cobbled laneways like this one, but its main thoroughfare is George Street. Here you'll find shops selling traditional Australian goods along with some of the city's best known pubs. But make sure to veer off the main strip to find art galleries, cafes and lanes away from the crowds. If you're looking to get away from it all for a few hours when you're in Sydney city centre, the perfect place to do it is the Royal Botanic Gardens. Established in 1816, it covers 416 hectares and is home to over 4,000 Australian native plants. Other parks you should visit are Hyde Park in the city centre where you'll find busy malls and memorials, the domain which is beside the Botanic Gardens and where many outdoor events take place, and the enormous Centennial Park which runs parallel to Oxford Street. Two of Sydney's as well as Australia's best known landmarks can be found side by side in the city's circular quay at Sydney Harbour. These are the celebrated Sydney Opera House and the neighbouring Harbour Bridge. If you're looking for a view of the harbour that you'll never forget, make sure to do the bridge climb when in the city. And if you're looking for that perfect shot of the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge side by side, You'll get it from here at Mrs Macquarie's Point, which is part of the Domain, one of Sydney's most visited parks. Sydney isn't all golden beaches and well-known landmarks. It has some alternative sides to it too, such as Newtown, a neighbourhood just south of the CBD, the main strip here being King Street. Glebe is another quirky neighbourhood where you'll find wine bars and bookstores, while another part of the city that is unlike any other is the infamous King's Cross neighbourhood. Something you have to do when you're here in Sydney is the Bondi to Coogee Coastal Walk. It's about six kilometres long, takes two hours to complete and the scenery along the way really is breathtaking. 
Another coastal walk you should make time for is near Manly through the Sydney Harbour National Park. The views of the harbour are spectacular, but take note, you'll need to rent a bike to complete this one. Sydney is great for shopping. The main streets to treat yourself to something new are George Street and Pitt Street in the centre of the city. Here you'll also find lots of malls and arcades. Along Oxford Street in the Paddington and Darlinghurst areas, you'll find more independently run stores. While if you're looking to pick up a bargain, try one of the city's markets, such as the Paddington Markets which is on every Saturday, the market which is held in the Rocks every weekend, and Paddy's Markets, which is open from Wednesday to Sunday. Located in the heart of Sydney, Darling Harbour is an entertainment complex with so much to do you could easily spend a full day here. Some of the attractions here include the Sydney Aquarium, the largest IMAX screen in the world, the National Maritime Museum and the Sydney Wildlife World. It's also home to lots of bars and restaurants. When it comes to eating out there are certain things which are quintessential Sydney. One of these is fish and chips from Doyle's at Watson's Bay, because as you can see, the view is unforgettable. Other eating out experiences not to miss include a meal in the city's Chinatown, a pie from Harry's Café de Wheels in Woolloomooloo, and a meal in a BYO restaurant where you can bring your own alcohol. So that is our 10 things you need to know about Sydney. Hopefully you'll have picked up a few hints and tips from what you've just seen. For a fact sheet on everything that's in this video, log on to www.hostelworld.com forward slash videos and for the biggest and best selection of hostels in Sydney on the internet, as well as free pocket guides, podcasts and much more, log on to www.hostelworld.com.